Anti-flipping law is pretty much it's that, not an actual called the anti-flipping. Yeah, we law. call it that, but uh, investors call it the anti-flipping law because it's it's created so if you're an investor, you buy a house, you renovate it, and you try to sell it, you have to hold it for at least ninety days, well, ninety-one days before you can accept an offer from an FHA buyer. The reason this is called an anti-flipping law is because the majority of the buyers are were FHA at the moment. So when you had such a large buyer pool of FHA, and we did this consistently when we flip properties, is we would look at the area we were flipping. And if we saw all of the sold comps and sales terms, they had FHA financing, we knew that we had to buy that property and at least hold it for 90 days. So that's pretty much why well, we call it, it anti -flipping. And it caused us to where like we would buy it and he only it needed a small renovation, maybe six weeks worth of work. Well, we wouldn't even start it for a month, month and a half. Because there's no point in fixing up a house, having it all ready to go have that capital A just to have them and then put it on the market and then have it just sit there for and all you get all these offers in FHA, FHA, FHA. And you're like, I can't accept this contract for another month. Yep. Well, you wait. So come back in a month. Well, they're not going to wait around in a month. They're going to go find another house to put an offer in on and they're gone. But now your house had sat on the market for 30 days in an insanely hot market. And it made it something made it people think, well, what's wrong with that house? Why has it been on the market for so long? So it's scared buyers. So we would always at that time wait yeah. to put up mark houses on the market until day 91 so we could actually accept those offers. So yeah, we just call it anti-flipping because a lot of times I can get a house done quicker than 90 days and get on the market, but we would actually well, And then and we wait. also have holding costs, we yeah. have money costs, we have, you know, there's other stuff and and one thing that I always talk about real estate is that houses don't like to be sitting vacant. They start hurting themselves. So when you have a property that's just sitting vacant, you have more of a chance that, you know, it can get vandalized, people can break in, things go bad. You know, it, there's a higher risk. Houses, houses with plumbing, with everything, especially if it's an older home, they need to, it needs to be constantly used so it stays working well so things don't back up so you don't get kind of grime and stuff built up in the pipes. I mean, there's a lot of things involved. So, it, you know, it, it hurts the investor, but you adjust for those, those pain points and you try to make the best of it.